Eagles nursing homes and long term care facilities are ramping back up as they prepare to distribute the COVID-19 booster shots. Our ABC 10 News reporter uh, Nia Watson shows us how one program plans to handle the massive rollout to their residents and their staff. Nursing homes and long term care facilities were among the first on the list to receive the COVID vaccine back in December and January. Now they're working to keep their residents and staff safe with booster shots. Come September 20th, anyone fully vaccinated will be able to receive a booster shot, gaining extra protection against COVID-19. Uh, one of our staff or our seniors who got the vaccine in December, of course, they are now nine months out. Um, and so they're very excited uh, to think about getting a booster. CEO of St. Paul's Senior Services, Cheryl Wilson, says they plan to roll out the Pfizer vaccine. They hope to partner with CVS again to help administer the shots. So we had very good coverage right out of the box. Wilson says they've been pretty successful keeping the virus at bay. 98% of their residents are fully vaccinated and 86% of staff. But the Delta variant is causing new concerns. Through COVID tests conducted each week, some people tested positive. These people who have been vaccinated are not getting sick. Uh, they're not having symptoms, but they are positive. When it comes to distributing the booster shots, it's no small feat. The network serves around 1,700 residents and 650 staff members. Wilson says getting the shots to hundreds of homebound seniors, along with the cost of the rollout, are the biggest challenges. We think the same thing will happen this time, where we will not have to actually pay for the vaccine. But we do have to pay for the syringes, the nurses' time, everything else that goes along with it. The program will also require all of its staff members to be fully vaccinated as mandated by the Biden administration. If someone is unable to get the shot, they'll be provided with special face masks, gloves and gowns to not only protect themselves, but those they care for. The Delta variant is out there and uh, we are watching it very closely. We do not want any of our seniors to get sick and certainly not end up in the hospital. If they can get enough vaccine, Wilson says they'll also provide booster shots to residents and employees, family members, as they did previously. Mia Watson, ABC 10 News.